Hey, what's to you, fam? It's your girl TK, and I am in my car vlogging, darling. And I decided that I wanted to get online real quick, and I'm gonna real, real quick and speak to you guys about Beyonce Knows Carter. Today, we're gonna be talking love on top. Yes, we are going there with her. Now, I don't know if y'all realize it, but Beyonce is in the Renaissance era, and if you guys don't know what Renaissance means, it is the rebirth. We are definitely in the rebirth process, but she's reminding you to put her love on top. She's singing it to you guys, baby. You're the one that I love, baby. You're the one that I need. Oh, friend, I can't sing, but I want you guys to know she is taking us there. But when she talks about love on top, I want you guys to note something, okay? When I think about Beyonce talking love on top, I'm thinking about her being pregnant years ago. Oh my goodness, on stage, rubbing her stomach. Oh my goodness, and the excitement, the cheers, the crowd. People were so excited that Beyonce knows Carter was sharing her love. She was sharing her pregnancy with the world and people were shocked. No one knew that Beyonce knows Carter was going to be saying on that stage that she was pregnant, but she was. She was absolutely pregnant and she was going to have a baby, a little girl, Miss Blue Ivy Carter. You know what I'm saying? Her little hidden secret that she was able to keep from the world for such a long time time now I want you guys to know as we uh, go through this climax with her and we see her love that is on top we are now seeing blue ivy carter we're seeing her on stage now and the homegirl is out here singing and dancing and just being a great person she is being great oh my goodness who would ever think that we'll see little blue on stage sharing her experiences with us sharing what she does sharing her designs sharing how she she likes to dress with the world but we are seeing it we are seeing it but not only are we seeing it we are experiencing a thriller because not only are we seeing this love that goes on top we also are experiencing that you know blue ivy carter is now out here singing and dancing to black parade oh my goodness can you imagine thinking about a martin luther king and malcolm x hell even mama tina could you see mama tina being assassinated or even one of her daughters. But Blue Ivy Carter is out here dancing and singing to this, an 11 year old child. This is definitely giving interesting, this is tea. You know, I wouldn't expect this from Blue Ivy Carter, but you know what I'm saying? I ain't her mama, but I do know this. This tour has definitely been giving me thriller. I mean, we've been flipping, flopping so much on this tour. I don't know if we're going to the love on top to uh-oh, uh-oh, until, you know, now we're back in the rebirth process. You, where the fuck are we in this tour? Where are we? You know, Beyonce, oh my goodness, girl. Oh, and then, you know, recently she was talking, even, you know, Brianna Taylor and talking, I slay, you know, ah, friend, I can't even believe she brought out Brianna Taylor's family. Do you realize something, honey? Do you realize that Beyonce is out here wearing face masks? She's wearing face masks that resemble, you know, white supremacy, KKK. She's showing that her love belongs to white supremacy. But what about the people that belong to her culture, her color? You know, if she was to be down with the people who are currently oppressed, you wouldn't be the one that she loves. Oh, and that is really a deep sight to hear, a deep sight to, to note, actually. Anyhow, guys, I wanted you guys to know that I wanted to talk to you guys about love on top. Baby, you're the one that I love. Yes, I had to talk to you guys about this song because people are getting very excited about love on top. And, you know, it has definitely been giving me thriller. Anyhow, I want you guys to know, I've been doing a lot of videos on Miss Beyonce Knows Carter. I talked to you guys about B Rihanna Taylor. I'm talking to you guys about Tamika Mallory. She's the person that talks about protesting um, and standing um, together in unity with uh, black 
black power or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm talking to you guys about, you know, Jay-Z, Beyonce, oh my gosh, Kelly Rowland, Michelle. I'm talking to you guys about this family. And I'm telling you the reasons why I believe that these people are a thriller in its entirety. And it must cease and desist. It should not be occurring. But I guess this is the love that goes on top. Oh, and that is a thriller. Anyhow, guys, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video, learning a little bit more about what I was thinking about Miss Beyonce Knowles Carter. Hell, having a little bit understanding about what I think about that number four. I don't know if y'all realize it, but I did a video on Beyonce's husband, Jay-Z, and we discussed how Barack Obama and him have something in common, and that's the number four. You put that Negro with that Creole. You'll get a Texas Bama. Anyhow, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, like, comment, and subscribe. Please keep those notifications on. Let me know that you are online. Peace, love, and happiness, guys. Stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll holler at y'all later. Bye.